Welcome to the homestead. We are very excited that we got this new delivery. And if you saw the title in the thumbnail, you know exactly what it is. We are going to unbox this for you and talk about all the specs. Then we're gonna hook it up to our existing solar system here for the barn. Let's get going. Let's get into it and see what came in the package. Okay, with all big battery products, they come with an Anderson connector. This one has some mounting brackets also contained within the package. Okay, let's get this out of here. All right, here it is. This is the big battery Mustang. Let's see if I can get this out of the box without destroying the box, but probably not. It weighs 176 pounds. Let's go over the specific specs for this 48 volt Mustang. I've got 48 volts here in the barn, so this is perfect. So one thing is the size that I think is really cool. It's about 11 and a half inches wide. It's only four and a half inches tall, and I think it's 39 inches long. Let's check that out. 39 and three quarters. So this is a seven kilowatt, 139 amp hour battery. The 139 is a fairly odd number, but it gives you more than your normal 100 amp hour batteries that are the standard out there. So that's pretty cool. It can discharge at 120 amps and it gives you a max continuous power of 7,500 watts. And it'll peak at 300 amps for six seconds. It has high and low temperature sensors that will cut off. And it also has high and low voltage cutoff sensors. So you shouldn't have to worry about damaging this battery at all. We're down here on the side of the battery and there's this little sliding door here. Just take out the two screws at the end with a screwdriver. We can slide this out of position. And this is where you connect your Anderson connector and then connect this to a bus bar. Now with these, you need to connect them in parallel. So you are going to need bus bars for your system if you have more than one of these batteries. Let's take you in here closer. We've got our Anderson connector. We have our cell calibration button on and off and we have a reset button right here. I believe this is a temperature sensor right there. We've got a giant fuse on the positive conductor and we've got four small individual conductors coming in from each pack of cells. I believe there's 16 cells in this battery and they're grouped into packs of four. From here, you can just pull out this Anderson connector here. It is just secured on that little screw right there. Take the other en end of our Anderson connector and connect it in. With many of these big battery models, you can orient the battery however you like because the cells inside are contained within small stacks and they are buffered by metal brackets. So if you turn this up on end, they're not gonna smash each other and kind of like shift down. So this one, this Mustang is made to be, go flat like this, but I'm not gonna use it like that. I'm actually going to tip it up on its edge and that will fit my application the best. And it does come with these rope handles, which makes things a ton easier when moving these things around since they are so heavy. I'll show you when we connect this that I'm gonna tip it up on its edge just like this to maximize the space in our small solar shed. I'm gonna use this hand cart, gonna get it up on top, use a ratchet strap to secure it to it and roll it over there. All right, time to get this inside and I'll show you how to connect it. We took off one side of the rope handle so that it will sit flat on the side that I want it to sit flat for our application. That'll obviously make it a lot more stable. For me, before I slide this into its final position, I needed room to slide this door out so I can make the connection on this Anderson connector. Now it's not 100% clear whether you need to connect this first or connect it to your bus bar first. I did briefly speak with Big Battery and they said, you do not need a pre-charge resistor if you have inverters that are smaller than 12K. Well, mine are two 3Ks. And 
he said that that should not harm the BMS in these batteries and it shouldn't harm the capacitors in my inverters. But to be 100% honest, even after that conversation, I'm a little nervous. So I am going to use a pre-charged resistor. This is a 25 watt, 30 ohm resistor. And you can put that on your negative and touch it to your negative bus bar for just a few seconds. So I am going to connect this connector first, and then we are going to button this up Slide it back into place, and now we'll get these on our bus bars. So I'm gonna connect my positive first to the positive bus bar, and then I'll do the negative to the negative bus bar with our pre-charge resistor. And these Pike Industry bus bars are awesome. These are super heavy duty. I think these are the 600 volt bus bars. I'll list them in the description below if you are interested in them. They're really nice. We've connected our pre-charge resistor to the end of the battery cable, and we have our breakers to the inverters on. We're gonna to touch it for a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds or so. We'll take that off and there should not be a spark. There we go. We'll scooch our battery back into the best position for us. And there's our big battery setup. So the reason I did that pre-charge resistor, even after talking with big battery, was just to remain super safe. And the internal resistance of lithium iron phosphate bat batteries is really low. So the rush of current in is incredibly fast. I wouldn't worry about damaging the BMS as much as my Victron inverter um, capacitors. And usually inverters with a higher voltage and bigger capacity are more susceptible to damage. Not sure why that is, but it is. So as you can see, we've got power to our inverters and we are up and running with the big battery Mustang battery. It's showing that we've got a 32% state of charge on that battery. And for a seven kilowatt battery, this is super slim and compact. It's pretty cool. I just couldn't fit it from wall to wall in here. That was the original idea but the cords or the conductors sticking out at the end are preventing me from putting it perfectly straight, but that's no big deal. Look at the low profile of this thing. So the really nice thing is Big Battery is offering all of my subscribers 10% off any of these batteries. That's awesome. If you go in the description below, you can click on the link and there is also a discount code that you can use when checking out. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel because we are certainly not done with this battery. We are gonna be doing some capacity tests on it. We're gonna run all of our big loads in the barn and see how long we can go. And we'll be doing a few other cool things with it. So stick around. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them for me in the comments section below. Now go check out this series of videos, which is our full series on all three solar systems we've put in at our homestead. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll see you next time.